we really pride ourselves on making sure that our kids are safe as possible. We know kids can't learn if they're not if they don't feel safe. On Wednesday, the Ronan School District was informed a student made a comment to another student that they were going to shoot up the high school the next day. This was overheard by others. We didn't find out about it till last night when social media uh, kids started talking about it on social media. So as soon as my high school principal got word of it, he immediately contacted Lake County law enforcement, who went and did a investigation right away. Ronan School Superintendent Mark Johnston says Lake County Sheriff deputies found the student later that evening and informed them they will not be allowed on campus. On Thursday, an increased police presence was on campus. Kids were excused if parents decided to keep them home for the day. Doors were locked at the high school and middle school. The elementary school requires a buzz into the building. A parent shared their worry with me that the middle and high schools do not have a buzz-in entry system. Currently, we're going to look at that in the uh, middle school. Uh, it's already it's already in the process. Uh, we have a breezeway at the middle school where parents will be able to come in, stay in that area, and then get buzzed in. The high school, we're, we're not sure about that at this time just because we don't really have that same type of area. Another parent was concerned about what she said was a lack of information in Ronan's early announcement. One thing when you have these situations, you really have to try to evaluate what you can release, what you can't release. You know, you got individual privacies, etc. So we have a lot to take in. Superintendent Johnston explains they shared threat details through text, school's website, and social media as soon as they were fully informed. And once we had an opportunity today to sit down and look at it, talk to the uh, sheriff's department, see exactly what they had happened over the night, et cetera, or through their conversation, then we were able to give a little bit more information. They share they will continue to do the necessary emergency drills and continue to have an SRO on campus. We're going to do what we have to to protect our kids, our staff, and everybody who comes in contact with the school. In Ronan, Emily Brown, MTN News.